Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. As you can see, S&P 500 index keeps consolidating around 28.50. American stocks are trading under pressure on Wednesday. Trade tensions between the United States and China remain the main topic for the market. Uh, last week, Trump administration added Chinese telecom companies to trade blacklist. This week, uh, there was a lot of news about Huawei technologies and its ban from Google. Uh, today, there was some relief um, on the news that the United States will temporarily ease curbs on Huawei technologies. Uh, China's tech giant. However, there are reports that the White House may target more tech firms from China and consider blacklisting China's video surveillance firms. There were some positive comments from the US Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, but still investors see the current situation as the situation of great uncertainty. And uh, as a result, that creates negative pressure on stocks. Investors await the release of Federal Reserve's meeting minutes uh, later during the US trading session on Wednesday. And uh, as I can remind you, at its last meeting, the Fed didn't. Um, hint on the potential rate cuts later this year and if the minutes of the meeting is more dovish and we see that some members of the Fed see the necessity of lower rates then that might help the US stock market get higher. We can see that uh, resistance is provided by 50-day moving average around 28.76 the levels around 28.93 and the next resistance level is at 29.20. Support is located uh, in the area of 28.40 ahead of 28 mark. Let's now have a look at some individual stocks. Uh, we can see that Tesla continues its descent after it broke through that range where it spent the last couple of years. The latest news were from Morgan Stanley. The bank said that in the worst case scenario, the price of Tesla would be around $10. And that is, of course, a very um, bold statement given the fact that now the stock costs $198. So um, we can see that that reflects the bearish sentiment about the company's prospects, which now exists at Wall Street. And as a result, Tesla had to reduce price for uh, its two most expensive models because um, it is believed by various analysts that they are too expensive and won't um, attract enough demand. So the situation for the company looks rather difficult for now and the levels to watch on the downside are levels around 180, while resistance uh, will be located around 220 and 240. Another negative story is Qualcomm. The company uh, received the ruling of a court that it had violated antitrust law and that it was um, unlawfully suppressing competition in the market for cell phone chips. The company placed an appeal, but we can see that the stock uh, opened with a bearish gap and is uh, trading this week under negative pressure, several gaps on the uh, daily chart. So uh, that decline uh, may continue towards levels of 65 and 61 uh, as the next targets here. The positive stories which exist in the market include the retailer Target Corp. Here we see a bullish gap and an advance. The company reported that its quarterly same store um, and profit managed to beat expectations. So uh, the 
stock may try to get to levels around 80 and approach 85 mark. Um, although uh, the good economic prospects and uh, picture for retail sales in general should uh, be for the stock to gain uh, substantially and to overcome resistance which is located around 83 level. And finally, a few words about Avon. Uh, we can see that there was a break to the upside out of the previous range where the stock spent a considerable time. Uh, the break took place on the news uh, and expectations that the cosmetic brand will announce its sale to Brazil's Natura Cosmetica firm. So uh, here we will uh, look at the previous resistance and now support around 3.27 to act as support. And if the stock manages to hold these levels in the medium term, targets may be around for from the technical perspective. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel to learn more about the stock market.